Hello, my name is Lisa Nutriago. I talk about acute varicocele urinary renal cancer. Definition. A varicocele is a dilatation of the pumping for coexent of the spermatic cord. This network of vein is a dependent of the spermatic vein. Varicocele occurs more commonly on the left side because the spermatic vein opens at its sharp angle into the left renal vein. Whereas the right spermatic vein opens into the larger inferior vena cava, an acute non traumatic varicocele, especially of the less size, may indicate the presence of a retroperitoneal mass. What is varicocele? Varicocel is dilation of veins above testicle. This condition does not cause any harm. However, it can sometimes create fertility problems. Sperm production can be decreased. This condition can also shrink the testicles. Though there are no established risk factors for varicocel development, obesity is said to increase the risk. Varicocel causes moderate pain. If symptoms such as bulging above the testicle are observed, go to the doctor immediately and get examined. Applications in medicine A 65 years old man with no notable medical history present to urology clinic with a swelling in the area of the left testicle that had the starts Four weeks earlier, examination of the scrotum revealed an enlarged varicose vein along the left spermatic cord and abdominal palpation revealed a mass in the right flank. Computed tomography of the abdomen and pelvis revealed multiplied bilateral renal tumors with the largest tumor located in the left kidney. Open radical nephrectomy on the left kidney was performed and the results confirmed the diagnosis of renal cell carcinoma. One week later, the varicocele disappeared. Healthcare teams may use different types of treatments, including surgery. These are kidneys. Each year, 65,000 people in the U.S. learn they have kidney cancer, also called renal cell carcinoma or RCC, and 33% of those people will already have advanced disease at the time of diagnosis, meaning the cancer has spread beyond the kidneys to the other parts of the body. Understanding this disease will enable patients to take an active role in determining the best management plan. So let's get started. There are different molecular pathways that allow advanced RCC tumors to grow. The two known main ones being the vascular endothelial growth factor, or VEGF pathway and the mammalian target of rapamycin, or mTOR pathway. The VEGF and mTOR pathways are active in the majority of RCC tumors. The VEGF pathway is primarily responsible for the blood supply, which delivers nutrients to the tumor. The mTOR pathway is primarily involved in the tumor's ability of cells to grow and multiply, as well as the blood supply and metabolism. The goal of treatment is to block the growth of the tumor for as long as possible. There are different options available, and doctors will often use several therapies, one after another, to try to slow and temporarily stop the tumor. Healthcare teams may use different types of treatments, including surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, cytokine therapy, and targeted therapy. Pros and cons Pros Its associations with renal cancer is so frequent that such as development should be regarded as substances cause for pyelography or other appropriate studies. This acute varicocele, similar to the benign varicocele which usually appears in youth, is almost always of the left side, possibly because of its acute development. It is more often symptomatic than is the varicocele. The mechanisms for this need be con combined tubular and vascular obstructions by the tumor resulting 
impaired drainage of urine and the devaluation of tissue in the area of kidney adjunct to the tumor. Cons Tumors causing varicose loss tend to be large. Other retro retroperitoneal tumors and a variety of non neoplastic conditions may be responsible for the development of varicose later in the life. The most important mode of speed is the invasions of the renal venous systems. This seems the, to occur quite regularly when the tumor reaches a certain size. Thrombosis or tumor growth may extend for a varying distance along the, the renal vein and sometimes propagates to the vena cava. Occasionally, cava, cava occlusion occurs with edema, the less and evidence of collateral venous circulations. I'm back. I'm your host, Manraj, and you're watching a new episode of Naked Truth, where I'll be taking one question regarding your sexual health and body and give you straightforward answers back by physician. So, let's go ahead with the question. So this 14 year from Chennai, right? During PT club, I got hit in the balls from playing cricket, but the pain stopped. Is there some long-term effect from this? Unfortunately, since your testicles hang in a sac called scrotum outside your body, it's prone to get hit, especially during PT class. But the good news is, it's very rare to have long-term impact on your sexual body. Testicles are loosely attached and made of spongy material that absorb collision without causing any permanent damage. Your testicles are sensitive in nature, so you might get a little nausea or a pain but that subsides within an hour. If you have pain which doesn't subside and it's severe, please consult the doctor. So guys, keep the question coming to be featured on Naked Truth. No questions are too crazy for us and everything is kept completely confidential. Diagnosis The left size varicose secondary to the venous anatomy on the left testes are very common. Enlargement of the left testicles can be associated with blockade of the less testicular vein by tumoral inva invasion of the less renal vein as should be evaluated to, for the presence of retroperitoneal malignancy as well. The most common retroperitoneal malignancy causing these presentations is right-sided renal cell carcinoma. Since you asked, here's some gloves for you. You should fit. Take those on. Now, first, throw a show and tell here. What are these called? Where did the name come from? You ever wonder? Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. Yeah, they grow on a tree, right? And guess what? They grow like this. One lower than the other, and there are always two of them. In pairs. It's the Aztec word for testicle. Because that's actually what the testicles look like. Now, you got that in mind. Let me ask you a quick question. How many of you have penises that bend to the left? <laughs> well, answer that question, Oprah. Okay. How many of you bend to the right? How many of you don't know? <laughs> you got to go left to right. You're not going down the middle. So let's do it one more time. How many go to the left? There we are. How many go to the right? Okay. But the reason your penis bends one way or the other is because usually one testicle is lower on, on the side opposite that. So what ends up happening is the penis... Mine are like this, mine goes to the left, okay. the penis bends to where the testicle is lower, so it actually has room to bend, and that's a very natural thing to happen, people panic over that all the time, but there's no need to, but I bought something even better, <laughs> that is a testicle, here, excuse me, okay. just now squeeze that, oh, not too hard, oh. <laughs> oh. he busted the balls, oh, oh, oh he busted the balls, oh, that's terrible, We got two of them, right? One's lower right. than the other. Now, here's how you do it. Your, your, your testicles have this, th this this sort of thick shield on top of them. At age 15, you got to start examining your, your, your testicles. The best way to do it is to sit in a warm bath because it relaxes everything. Get it, get them on your fingers and just sort of feel both. They should be the same. You got to do it yourself. Come on. Do that. 
Uh, now, I don't want to bust this one. On, on, the, on the top of the testicle uh, is, is a collection sac for sperm. It takes about 70 days for sperm to mature. So the sperm goes from the testicle into this collection sac just above it. And from there, they're stored until they go through this tube, which is called the vast deference. You know why they call it that? I have no idea. Because if you cut it, it makes a vast difference. <laughs> <laughs> now, you had a question before. Go ahead and ask it. Um, if you get a vasectomy, can you reverse the procedure? All right, so that's a good place to talk about how this fast deference works. When they do a vasectomy, they go in through the scrotum, and they actually take this, bend it, and clip it, and cut it like that. So what ends up happening is the sperm backs up into the testicle. You still have ejaculation because the fluid around the, the, the ejaculation is not coming from your sperm. It's actually sent from the prostate and other glands around that area. But when you reattach yourself, the surgeon has to go in there with very small sutures and reconnect this very fragile tube. And sometimes you've made antibodies against your own sperm because they were backed up in your testicles. So the big side effect of a vasectomy is wanting to reverse it because it's not a uniformly successful procedure. Fair enough? All right. So the testicles are easy to examine. They make a lot of sense when you do examine them. What are you feeling for? You're feeling for nodules? You're feeling for enlargement of the testicle? If you're looking for sort of a full feeling down there, sometimes you get fluid. And what a lot of folks don't think about, which is important, is you actually get sensitivity of the breasts. Because testicular cancers are often endocrine cancers. They, they send out chemicals that can change the way you look. Pay attention to those subtleties, and you can save your or someone else's life. The issue of life in Ecuador, varicose is most commonly present as unilateral dilatation of the 24 plexum of veins above the left testis. Left-sided varicose are present in approximately 10% to 20% of men and are believed to, the, to be secondary to the venous anatomy on the left testis. Right-sided varicoceles usually occur as bilateral process and are apparent in 10% of clinical cases, and, and is as many as 50% of subclinical cases. is a group of swollen blood vessels called veins in a man's scrotum. The male reproductive system includes the testicles, also known as testes, which are two glands inside a pouch of skin called the scrotum. The testicles normally produce and store reproductive cells called sperm. They also produce a hormone called testosterone. Testosterone is important for sperm production, muscle strength, and sex drive. The scrotum is outside the body, which keeps the testicles cool enough to make sperm. Each testicle is suspended inside the scrotum by a structure called the spermatic cord. Inside each cord are blood vessels and a tube that sperm travel through called the vas deferens. The testicular artery is the blood vessel that brings most of the blood to the testicle. Most blood leaves the testicle through a group of veins called the pampiniform plexus. Blood also leaves the testicle through smaller veins next to the vas deferens that bypass the pampiniform plexus. Conclusions. The diagnosis of varicocele necessitates evaluation of the abdomen and retroperitoneum for underlying malignancy. Acute kidney injury can occur as a result of a mass effect or a result of thrombosis of renal vessels. Physicians should perform a complete abdominal examination in every patient with varicocele of testicular pain because the large tumors can, can cause abdominal pain as a late manifestation.